there's a lot of things that I miss about the soccer season, but probably the things I miss the most are seeing all my friends and teammates every day, competing and training, and then probably most of all is just playing games in front of all our amazing fans. Starting a garden, um, I've been planting lots of flowers as well as some fruits and vegetables, and yeah, I don't know much about gardening, but I'm trying to learn. You can actually see some of the plants I planted. My advice for any player that's hoping to turn pro one day would be just to make sure you're taking time outside of training to put in the extra work. Make sure you're working on both your strengths and your weaknesses. Talk to your coaches, ask them if they'll stay with you outside of training to work on those things. And yeah, it's going to be a tough journey, but anything's possible. And if you want it bad enough, you can make it happen. My favorite pregame snack is usually a bowl of oatmeal with some peanut butter and banana. First, Angela, just because we can talk to each other for hours and not get bored and we usually end up laughing hysterically. Second would probably be Emily because she's super creative and I'm sure she would come up with a lot of really fun, act fun activities for us to do. And third would probably be Kelly because she would introduce me to a lot of ridiculous TV shows that would probably keep me entertained as well. Also, all three of those people are really funny and make me laugh all the time, so yeah. I have a lot of favorite books, so it's hard to choose just one, but a few that I've read recently that I've really enjoyed are Educated, Becoming by Michelle Obama, and Where the Crawdads Sing. If I could choose anywhere in the world to travel right now, I would probably choose Greece. I haven't been there before, and all the pictures look amazing, and I've heard great things, and I would choose to travel there with my husband. The best part of playing at home at Providence Park is definitely the fans. It's unlike anywhere else in this entire world and we're just so lucky to play there. I think when you're walking out for the starting lineup and you do the national anthem and you just look up into the stands and see all the fans waving their scarves, it's just an incredible feeling and yeah, that's by far the best part of playing at home. I actually look up to all the players on our team because they all inspire me and they all bring something unique and different to our club. But someone who's kind of inspired me for a really long time now is probably Sink. Um, when I was in high school, actually, I played in the W League and so did she. So that's kind of when I was first aware of her and started following her career. And now I get to be on her team. And she is just the most amazing teammate and she's so humble and a great captain. So I'm just thankful I get to be on her team and not play against her anymore just want to say thank you to everyone who sent in questions. I'm sorry I couldn't answer them all. I hope you guys are staying safe and healthy and that we can get back to playing soccer soon. Thanks!